Hello, everyone. So today, uh, let us talk about uh, how you can uh, expand your uh, skill set when it comes to Jira administration, or if you want to become a consultant. Now, if you are a Jira administrator, let us say you are working in a company where uh, you you are working for a support team, right? And uh, you have been working for a few years. You have decent experience and you feel stuck in your career and you want to do more and you are probably not really sure how to how to how to make a move and how you can uh, gain more experience now let us say you are a jira administrator right and you receive a ticket where the requester it could be your internal client it could be your customer it could be uh, anyone who who you are working for or working with and the request is to add a new condition in the workflow to only allow users of a specific role to make a transition. Now, this could be a very simple change that you can do. And you can do that, of course, using either an app like Jira, MISC workflow extension, or maybe Scriptrunner. And uh, doing this change, this improvement, this customization for you, even if you know it can be done uh, or you're allowed to do it or basically it will not really impact any other project, you can do that in maybe half an hour or maybe 10 minutes, 15 minutes. And then, of course, you can ask your, 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 your client, your customer, your requester that, yes, I've done it. Please take a look at it. Now, this is, of course, simple support and nothing wrong with it. But if you want to maybe uh, expand your skill set, what you can do is try to arrange a call with the requester. So the moment you receive a ticket and when you get a chance to look at it, try to understand why they want to do this. I'm not really talking about the technical aspects because yes, technically it can be done. But uh, if you talk to your client, your, your customer, your requester, then you have, you will get this opportunity to understand why they want to do this or why they are requesting for this improvement in Jira. Uh, and when you, when, you, when, you, when you talk to them, you're basically talking to, let us say, a project manager or a scrum master. You might be talking to a BA. You might be talking to uh, maybe your company's CTO. You might be talking to uh, a developer or a tester. So when you're basically trying to understand how these different uh, teams, different uh, people from different roles, how they are trying to use Jira and uh, what challenges they are facing, you will learn a lot because it will expand your, you know, uh, because you're stepping out of your comfort zone. Now, uh, one thing that you should also try to do always, always try to challenge uh, nicely the requester. I mean, so, so let us say you receive a request, instead of saying no directly, because no could be, I mean, you might have a reason to say no to this request, but uh, don't say no, say that maybe uh, if you can explain your requirements a bit more, maybe uh, it. Maybe I'm not really 100% sure about why you want to do this. So talk to people. I think uh, there is there is no like alternative to. I mean, of course, people can explain things on a ticket, but when you talk to people, you actually understand their uh, their not just their technical requirements, but also their uh, feeling, their mood, and. Uh, uh, they will, of course, talk to you, but don't just talk to them about the tool. Ask them how, uh, what are they doing in their life, everything okay with their uh, family. So try to understand them. Try to understand. Uh, uh, try to try to understand uh, their frustrations, and uh, try to make some relations with those people. And if you are doing support, I know it can be. It it may seem like. Uh, uh, like a, like a boring job where you're just doing the same thing, same thing over and over again. You might be learning. Of course, you will learn. There is learning in everything. Uh, even if you're doing monotonous activities, try to find things uh, that can be done quickly. Uh, so basically, if you're doing the same thing over and over again, do it quickly or fi find ways to uh, improve your efficiency or find better way of doing it. It could be, you know, maybe writing a script or not writing a script or using a specific app or maybe find a, find a feature within Jira that is probably uh, a better way of doing it. 
uh, now uh, when you when you talk to people try to i mean first of all find opportunities find uh, ways to actually talk to people get on a call with them and because if someone is asking you to do it if, if someone is has raised a request to maybe implement features in jira or customize jira then it is their requirement right and they will definitely give you uh, their 15 minutes or half an hour so this is something that i can you know uh, recommend talk to people it is very important and at the same time uh, when you talk to people also try to understand uh, what they do in uh, their i mean not just jira uh, what they are trying to do in their team for example let us say you work let, let us say you are doing support right and you are working in a tech company maybe a medium sized company and you are receiving this request from someone who is maybe uh, into devops right or maybe they are uh, part of a delivery team and they have a product it could be a mobile app or, or whatever so when you talk to these people they will give you ideas or they will basically uh, share how they are using the tool and what kind of, kind of uh, deliveries they are trying to do for example the way product teams work might be different from someone who is uh, maybe in uh, service desk right or if if you talk to a developer they will share their frustrations about uh, jira so as part of my uh, as part of my uh, work um, I, I i get to hear frustrations complaints from different different roles so when i talk to a developer they complain about yeah jira is uh, very slow or jira used to be in my previous company on data center on cloud it's a bit you know not massively uh, responsive when i talk to uh, scrum masters they complain about a uh, uh, lot of unnecessary information in the tool they complain about uh, not able to search uh, search their information they're not sure sure about how to create dashboards or reports and it is really important because when you when you understand these uh, challenges these challenges are i mean when you when you talk to let us say a developer or a project manager or a test uh, engineer test manager usually not always but but usually people in these roles they have similar traits so for example if if if, if you talk to a developer developers don't really like going to jira story and clicking on a button on top so for 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 a developer they want this experience to be smooth and you can do things to you can actually help them to uh make their life a bit more easy for example we all know about smart commits we all know about uh uh workflow triggers and developers might know about it but uh but if they don't know about it you have the opportunity to help them at the same time if you're talking to project managers release managers usually managerial kind of roles they just need to search for information in jira they just need to okay give me the list of all of my stories give me the list of all the all the epics that we are planning to deliver in the next four months so for for these uh, roles because they are not always from a technical background or maybe they have lost their touch they uh, they need help with maybe jql or maybe you can create some reports for them so when you talk to these different uh, uh, roles people of people from different background roles uh, you will in a way build up your consultation skills so if you are doing support so my this video is actually for support uh, people who do jira support or jira pure jira admin work uh, and they are trying to jump into into consultation so when you talk to people i think majority of uh, the cons consultation work uh, involves talking to people and uh, you need to basically find ways to talk to people i mean uh, that is that is the only thing and uh, and and of course you can do a lot of other things like maybe maybe go to the community at lashan community look for questions that people are asking and try to respond to their uh, questions of course you are not really talking to people but in a way you are helping someone and uh, i also say that uh, find ways to because this is something to do with i'll probably make a like a separate video on this particular topic a lot of people in india they complain about i'm talking about india by the way because i majority of my audience viewers they are actually from india 
So they asked me that we are working hard and uh, we have been working for four years, five years, and uh, we, we don't really get paid a lot, which is fine, uh, I understand. But to be honest, uh, you have to, <laughs> you have to keep trying I, th I think if you're not happy with your job if you're not happy with your salary then change it and and if you want to change your job you need to basically make sure that uh, you are you're, you're, apart from your wonderful resume or profile you're actually adding some skill set or you're learning something new so technical aspect is one thing but if you are maybe applying for maybe a similar role in a different company Jira administrator Jira consultant uh, I, I think this consultation skill is like really important and uh, uh, what I wanted to say, what, what I was about to say is that try freelancing. I think a lot of, lot of companies these days, uh, or I mean, I mean, if you let us say <coughs> mention somewhere or market it somewhere that yes, you are available for uh, for part-time work or freelancing work, I'm sure you will get uh, opportunities. You will get, uh, you will definitely get someone asking you. And uh, LinkedIn is, is of course a nice place where you can you know, talk about yourself. Uh, but there are a lot of other things that you can do. Start a blog post, uh, maybe create a YouTube channel like this. I mean, uh, I, I get a lot of questions from YouTube and I, I get a lot of uh, potential clients, leads from my, not only from, from my YouTube channel, but also from my website, or of course, you know, uh, LinkedIn as well. So you have to be, you have to market yourself. So, so if you're not happy with your job, try something, you know, part-time, maybe build an app, maybe, uh, maybe try to make a video on uh, videos on YouTube and make money from YouTube. I make money from YouTube and I'm, I'm not really ashamed of it. I make money from writing books. So I, I think in 2022, there are so many things that you can do with your skills. If you have skills, of course. So apart from focusing on skills and making sure you are improving it uh, also market yourself learn how to market yourself and i'm sure even if you're just focused on getting a job keep trying keep 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 you know applying for jobs eventually things will work out i also started started with i mean when, when i started working did 20 years ago yeah 20, 2003 i mean i started uh, doing some kind of freelancing uh, when i when i was in college but uh, apart from uh, working for others, like doing full-time job, I was also always doing something in parallel. And you have to, you know, keep on trying. You have to always, uh, don't stop, don't really waste time. I, I mean, of, of course I do waste time. I do waste time, time when I want to, but I always try to, uh, I've always tried doing something parallel to my main work. It could be anything. It, it need not to be uh, just Jira, but of course, uh, if, if you think you already have some skill set in a Atlassian ecosystem, then you should uh, make sure that uh, you're always, you know, maybe uh, on a regular basis trying something that will help you in getting a job or maybe getting uh, some kind of a project, part-time project. So apart from Jira, also try to learn, I mean, because I, I have a technical background, so also try to, I'll of course talk about things like, you know, Bitbucket, and uh, learn about other tools, uh, focus a bit more. I mean, this is of course my area of interest if you are from a technical background. If you know how to automate things in Jira, if you know how to integrate Jira with other tools, if you know how to pull things from Jira uh, or push things to Jira using REST API, then I think you are set. Uh, you will def I, I guarantee you will get hired. For example, if I have to hire someone uh, for Jira, consultant role, I will of course look for the Jira admin skills, number one, but I will also look for these other things. If you know how to write scripts, if you know how to maybe do things with Jira using APIs, if you can talk to people, if you can uh, uh, demo Jira products to your potential clients, I think these are the skills that you need. All right, so that is all. That is all I wanted to talk about today in this video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.